Hey guys, it's Stella, your Sensi Consultant, back again for another video. And today I'm super excited because I have a little mini haul here for you. And then I also have my club that I wanted to share with you. Today is August 30th, which means tomorrow is August 31st, which means the next day is September 1st, which is exciting in the Scentsy world because our harvest collection is dropping that day and I am so excited. I will for sure be picking up that three pack of bars and there's so many other goodies, the cashmere corduroy coming out in a hand cream and Scentsy soak and I will for sure be doing the hand cream. I'm so excited for all things, so hopefully I will have another little haul, maybe not so little, we'll see how crazy I get because I do get paid the day <laughs> that the Harvest Collection comes out, so we'll see how much restraint I can manage. But without further ado, we'll get into my little mini haul over here. I wanted to pick up some fall scents and especially some of the new releases for this year so starting off we have cran apple crumble this is so good oh my gosh it's just so warm you get that apple oh you get the apple that cranberry just adds a little bit of tartness and i think there's like the dollop of whipped cream and brown sugar or something in here I really like the brown sugar. I really like this. So I have cran apple crumble. And then I have Miss Fluffy Fleece. I did not pick this up in a brick last year and I'm so sad I didn't. I hesitate to pick up bricks because, especially when I they're new release bricks, because I don't know what they smell like and I don't want to get stuck with a ton of wax that I don't like. But now that I know what this smells like, I'm so sad. But I have this, and now I can put it in my club and it can stay there forever. Oh, it's so cozy. It's just wintry, cozy, nice kind of laundry. Some people say it smells like a grandma. I am okay if I'm a grandma and I smell like this, so I don't care. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so clean. It has heliotrope in it, which I think is a floral. Hmm. <laughs> I should really know that, but I don't. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, and I want to pick this up in the laundry. I think for my next club shipment, I have a quarterly club shipment, so my next one will come in November. And I think for that, I'm going to get the washer whiffs, the big tub of washer whiffs for my half price because obsessed is an understatement. I love this. Next, we have black currant and plum. And by the way, these are full bars. I have not yet tested these, so I don't have comments on performance or anything. So black currants and plum, I like this a lot, and I'm sad because I've heard it doesn't perform the bestest, but I honestly don't know if I care, because this is so nice. It is more perfumey than I thought it would be. It almost has like the same perfumey quality as cashmere and corduroy, which means I love it because everyone loves cashmere and corduroy, and if you don't, you should because it's amazing. It's got the sweetness of the plum, and there's just a certain deepness about this that almost makes me want to save it for winter, or let's be real, I'll use this and then get another bar for winter. I really like it. It's perfumey but it definitely still has the plum it is in I think it's in the I'm 98% sure it's in the fruity category and I think it does belong there oh my gosh it's so nice I'm so excited such a cozy nice scent for my room here next we have one that I've cracked into I have two warmers in my bedroom here and that's Miss Scarlet Sunflower I love her I love her I love her She's performing pretty well. I've had her going for a while and she's just trucking along and I'm honestly really surprised because I thought it would kind of die out because it is a little lighter. This has sunflower, apple, and cranberry and I freaking love it. I'm really interested. I want to save some of these because I want to try mixing. I think this would be good. Um, I don't have Johnny Appleseed but I think this would be really nice with Johnny Appleseed or Very Merry Cranberry, which I do have, or even Luna, which we'll get to. 
Um, I think Luna would be nice just to kind of bring out a different floral note to it. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but Luna also has berries in it, and this has a cranberry in it, so maybe I'm not crazy, but I love it. It's performing really well, and I this doesn't matter at all, but I really love the color of this wax. <laughs> okay, next we have another new release, which is Falling Apples. You guys. Wow! Oh, I love it. It is... I don't even know. My bar came a little broken, but... Okay, we'll just. It's just like, I don't want to say cologne apple. It's woodsy apple, but it is cologne apple. <laughs> it's so nice. It's so nice. It's deeper than I expected it to be. I knew it had the wood in it, um, like some woodsy notes, and it has, I think, lavender in it, which is really interesting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so nice and it's different, which I, I like it. I'm excited to warm this. I, it's gonna have to be cooler. I'm so, so sad because it's gonna be like 87 degrees here for the next like three or four days. It's not even gonna dip down into the seventies until like maybe next week, but it's, it, I'm sad. I want it to be cooler so I can warm this, but I can't, I just can't bring myself to warm these deep scents when it's 87 degrees outside and I'm sweating. I don't, I just can't bring myself to do it. Okay, and then we have another new release, which is Blackberry Spice. I was iffy on even purchasing this one, but I did it anyway. <laughs> I just wanted to know what a whole bar of it smelled like because I have the sample tester and I, it was in my like, when I'm picking up my scents, I go through my testers before I order and I make like little piles and this was in my maybe pile and I, something came over me and was just like, eh, just do it. And I was like, okay, I'll just order this, add it to my six pack. And this is surprising to me. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. Again, there is spice in it, but there has to be woods in here because I don't know what's going on with my nose today, but I'm picking up like cologne notes and everything. Maybe I'm thinking more perfumey. It just has a more body care note in it, I think. It's really nice. I'm. But the bottom, the top has like nose smell. Okay, so you get the blackberry for sure. It's not a bright blackberry. It's almost like um, like a cooked down blackberry. And then second note I get is the wood. There's gotta be a wood in here. And then the back end is providing a little bit of spice, either cinnamon or clove, but it's not super spicy. Oh my God, why do I keep doing that? The top has like no scent for whatever reason. It's very, it's what I'm going to have to experiment with. Maybe mix. We'll see. I like it um, on its own. But I think, I think it's kind of buckle, it's deeper buckleberry vibes. If you know buckleberry, it came back in a bring back my bar in June. So if you have that, it's not quite as aggressive a spice as that. It's got more wood in it. But it is a little bit buckleberry adjacent, in my opinion. And then last but not least for this little mini haul, we had um, the clearance update happen. And of course, I went through that. I was waiting in the queue. I was waiting. I was like, I just, I'm not missing anything. And I went through it and I was like, it was mostly the summer scents that were on sale the, from the spring summer catalog. So I looked through them and there were a couple that I was interested in and I'm just starting to get into the pod system so I don't want to get any pods yet because I'm not sure how I feel about the pod system yet. But I did pick up a prickly pear and agave because I smelled that tester and immediate regret filled me that I hadn't picked this up when it was available. Oh, I like it a lot. It is very green. Why did it? It's... Mm. 
I like it, but it's very green. It's green and fresh. But that agave has a little bit of sweetness in it, and maybe the pear is adding some sweetness. I really like it. It's really nice and fresh. Um, maybe I'll use it when it's 87 degrees here this week. <laughs> oh, it makes me so sad. Okay, so that was my little mini haul. Now we'll get into my club. So I just have some, excuse me a moment. <laughs> I have some summer scents that I stuck into my club um, just cause I wanted to be sure that I had them. Uh, first things first, we have summer holiday which um, smells similar to Endless Weekend by Bath & Body Works. It's just a nice summer floral. There's a little bit of orange in here. I love it. It had to go in my club. I needed it in my club and it stayed. It's, it's staying there until I know for sure that Miss Summer Holiday is coming back because if I don't have this, I'm gonna be sad. Next we have a new release from the, for this, how do I say this? <laughs> a new release from the last spring summer catalog that we had if that makes sense so the last catalog it was a new release i think you get it okay summer moonlight i love this it's strawberry sweet pea and sandalwood oh i love it so much this is staying this is staying in my club mixed with luna which again we'll get to um it's perfection. I haven't actually warmed it by itself. I've only ever warmed it with Luna, but I think I might end up using this in my bedroom this week and warming it by itself without, well, we'll see. And then we have Mr. Make a Splash. I love this. I don't remember. Some of these I took out because I just wanted one more bar and I was potentially overly confident that they would come back. And I'm not someone that can have a gajillion dollar club as wonderful as that is. I, <laughs> that's not reasonable for me at all. Um, so this is just, oh, mm, watery apple, turquoise water, bright apple, green apple. It's so good. It's so strong. I love make a splash. Next we have Camu Camu, and this is Camu Camu, which is a fruit, and I think maybe like pineapple, um, passion fruit maybe. This is so nice. I like this a lot. This is just super awesome fruity, and I'm not a big fan of skinny dipping. Skinny dipping, excuse me. Um, so this is what I much prefer to skinny dip in, and I really, really love it. Next we have Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze, which is for sure staying. Mm, I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's so fresh, but also it has a warm note to it. Hello, there we go. It just has a warmth to it. Like you're sitting on a beach with palm trees, nice suntan lotion on, and the sun is beating down on you. And it's amazing. I love palm trees and ocean breeze. And lastly, we had uh, one of the summer, what are they called? The summer release, the summer trio, um, peachy and palm trees. This one didn't make it in my club cut because I like Mickey and Friends, which is a peach scent. I'm hoping, I'm kind of regretting. Mm, already have regret. I took it out and I can't put it back. <laughs> This is just a nice peach mango smoothie. It's got a creaminess. I think there's coconut milk in here. So it's just a really nice creamy smooth scent that I only have one more bar of now. <laughs> Hopefully it'll come back. I'm really betting on Kikui and coconut coming back because I had Coastal Sunset in this club too and I took it out because I'm betting on Kikui and coconut. Club is a strategy. Club is a strategy for me. And then I got to bigger ticket items. This is why I've been talking about Luna the whole time. I finally got a brick of Luna. I cut it up yesterday when I got it. Oh my gosh, I freaking love it. I just love it. It's so uh, jasmine, sweet pea, berries, sandalwood. Oh, it's so good. I'm a little worried because I have heard that some people think the bricks are lighter than the actual bars that you can get. But the deal that you get on this, this is, um, I believe, five and a half. 
five and a half roughly um, bars. So this is the size difference that you get here. This is 15 ounces and this is 3.2. So um, Luna is a light scent to begin with. So I'm really hoping that it's not lighter than the bar. Um, but if it is, I have a crap ton of it now. So <laughs> I'm so excited to mix this. I've heard this is good with cozy cashmere or is it cozy cardigan cozy cardigan not cozy cashmere um and I'm just excited to mix this with a bunch of different stuff because I really think it's a good mixer and I love the scent so I got a big old boy of that and then lastly for my half price item in this club I did end up getting the August whip box I am not someone who likes getting the whiff box without knowing exactly what's in it and exactly what I'm going to get and exactly how much it's worth and whatever because um, I don't want a collection of things that I'm not going to use or not going to like. So this one was a winner for me. So they switched the boxes and they're this um, just regular cardboard color now instead of white. And then in it I got a Vanilla Waves body wash which I'm excited for. It did a little bit. I don't know. It, um, people rant and rave about this. And um, it's vanilla. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind when I use it. But I don't know. I haven't tried the Scentsy Body Wash yet. So I figured I would do that. And then this is another reason that I was so excited. We got Pods and Autumn Road Trip. Right now, I have the mini fan diffuser um, in my car, and I have Amazon Rain going in there. I'm still trying to figure out if I like that. I am using um, the Bath & Body Works little vent clips most of the time. Um, I have been using those since I was 16, since I got my car, so um, this is a new adventure for me. Um, so far, I really like it, and these last 120 hours, and it takes me like 10 minutes to drive to work and then 10 minutes to drive home so they last a really long time but autumn road trip is just one of my favorite fall scents and i'm so excited to be able to use it in my car i'm so excited to use those oh uh, what do i want to do next we have a black currant and plum little scent circle which um i mean you saw how much i liked black currant and plum in the bar so this i don't know where i'll put this i might put it in my car i might put it in my closet we'll see okay where do i want to go from here we'll do this then they um put one of the new travel twists in here in amazon rain i'm already using it i put it in my closet amazon rain is a classic scent it's one of my favorites i really like it um in terms of performance performance I'm gonna have to put it in a couple different places it's in this closet right here and it is a bigger closet and I have it on a top shelf and um, granted it's only been in there for like 12 hours but I, I had a car bar in my closet before and when I would open my closet it would hit me with the scent you know and that is not happening with my brand new travel twist so I might, I don't know if it needs a really smaller space, um, but I heard someone else, I don't remember who, um, talking about how these are just not for bigger spaces. So that is a little bit disappointing because I was hoping these would be good for a closet, but maybe it's the scent, maybe it just hasn't been in there long enough, maybe I need to put it lower instead of higher. Um, so I'm going to experiment a little bit around with this and then hopefully get back to you guys if I remember. <laughs> okay, and then just more. I, we got a uh, fall winter catalog. I have a gajillion of those. So, um, But for those who aren't consultants, that was good to get. And then we got a bar of Velvet Moon, which is another new release. And this... I was curious about, but I didn't put in my order because I, this is weird. <laughs> um, I didn't put it in my order because I didn't know if I was going to like it, but then I saw it was in the whip box with all the other things and I was like, okay, well, might as well. 
it's powdery, which I don't love. It's so interesting. Let me take my handy dandy catalog that I have right here and get us some scent notes on this. Vanilla flower, white musk, and foggy mist. It kind of smells like cozy cardigan. Maybe those would be good mixed together. It's, it's interesting. It is cozy, it's warm, but it also is a little powdery. So I don't, I don't know. And then we have two samples of two more new releases, one in Huckleberry Hideaway and one in Perfect Day. And these are pretty good size samples, so I'm excited to use those. These I've sniffed and I wasn't in love with, but I'm glad to have samples of them because if I do end up loving them on warm, I can get a full size. So yeah, guys, that was my, um, that was my little haul with my uh, club with box everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to purchase anything from me, you can go to Stella E dash sense dot sensi dot us. That's S T E L L A E dash S C E N T S dot sensi dot us. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today and I'll catch you next time.